I've got the supersonic weight on the bench today. I'm actually going to take it out. Um, this is the 8S setup. I can't remember the motor. I think it was about 1050 kV TP4070. It actually goes pretty well, like quite a bit faster than stock. But I'm going to swap it over to 12S today, which means I've got to get rid of the 200 amp speed controller. I'll put a 300 amp in there and I'll put the motor I've had in there before that I ran on 8S. It worked okay, but I'll run it on 12S. Here we go. Okay, there's a ZDW 300 and there it is 880kV. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I did have that. Um, I had that motor with this 160 amp speed controller in there for a bit too. But yeah, we're not doing that today. All right, so I'll just swap out the motor and get this speed controller mounted somehow, and then uh, run her on 12s. See what happens. Good thing about these is I can tell the amp draw. Um, which is very helpful in setting up props. So, in choosing props, I should say. So, I'll just take care of all that. The good thing about running a, a 4070 motor in this one as an upgrade, even though it's a smaller diameter, it fits straight in the mount. And the by the time you run the cooler, it's perfect. It's The angle is absolutely perfect in these. Um, this is one of our um, 90 mil coolers. Uh, the one I've got on this motor right now is a 68 mil cooler, so I'm probably going to swap that out for this one. And the only difference is in fitting one of these motors is these have an 8 mil shaft, um, and the standard motor is 5 mil shaft. So you just got to change your collet. And the reason it fits is because the the standard motor fits uh rests on there uh, and the cooler comes back here in the standard one so we're using the cooler to rest on there to make it uh, angled the right way just not bothering with the top part now so i'm just going to have to i made up that plate to fit the 200 amp speed controller in there but it's not going to fit the 300 so i'm going to have to figure, figure out something probably just make up another plate um you can see i I used this bit of scrap aluminium here, bolted that down, put some threads in there, and I had the other one mounted there like that. So I'll just make up another plate, I think, and bolt that thread in there. But I mean, bolt that on, bolt that on the top there. I didn't put it. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess I didn't put it that way because of yeah, a bit squishy. Hmm. All right, easy enough to figure out. Probably a tip if someone's going to put one of these 4070 motors in here, um, and I haven't done it up until now, and I'm, I'm not going to take it out and do it. But if you are going to do it, uh, because we don't have the the top, you know, mounting ring on here to stop it coming this way, even though it's quite firm in there, what I would do is next time I have this out, I'll drill a hole in the side here of the mount on each side, and then I'll run a cable tie, zip tie, you know, whatever over here just to attach the top of this to the mount there um, just so when it you know if a thing does flip over it um, doesn't try and rip out I mean we've only got we've got a few bolts luckily it's, luckily it's four there plus another one another pair there so six bolts is good uh, but they're only going into plastic of course so you know stuff can happen the other thing I would do different if I was fitting this for the first time is get rid of these uh what are they gonna be i think they're six mil terminals and i would have i would put eight mil terminals like i did when i put this 1060 in there so that's what i recommend you do uh if you're going to put a, a a tp 40 mil motor in there so this is 4070 um i believe the length of that is oh i think they're about 100 mil long around about 100 102 i think then they make a 4080 and they make a 4090 um which is around you know the 120 mil 
long 123 or something like that so they're even more powerful um so we're just mucking around with this for now just to see what happens i'm not actually after ultimate speed or anything with this test i just want to know what prop it's going to be happy with um, I know the 880kV is kind of on the higher end for 12S, so I won't be putting anything too big on there. I've got the 5514 there that we were running with that setup, and it liked it. Uh, I'll go down to around about 5014, something like that. Um, and I'll run it in a smaller pond, check the amps, and that'll, that'll give me the worst um or the highest temperatures you're kind of going to get you know if you're running a small area you're on and off the throttle way more than a large area where you just nail it and let let the thing do its work um it'll it, it's worse for a big boat in a small pond so it's a it's a better test when you when you're trying to figure out stuff to do it to sort of you know test, test it out its hardest kind of way Okay, so there's my plate. You can see I've just used a uh, used, uh, scrap, so I've got other holes in it already, but it doesn't matter for this. Um, put a couple of nut certs in there, M4 and M4 bolts here. I was going to use nut certs on here as well, but um, I just couldn't be bothered. So I've got nuts underneath. I don't know why, if they're going to put mounts for a, um, you know, the speed control there, why they put them underneath the wires? Even on here, why don't they just put them out the side here? It just makes it so hard to get on there. It's like they just did it as a joke just to try and make your life harder. They're probably laughing at me now as they're watching this video. Okay, so that's pretty much sorted. Look at that, even line the holes up without having to elongate them. That's a good thing about using clear stuff. You can see where you're drilling. All right, I'll tighten that up properly in a minute. And yeah, just about ready to go. Don't know how heavy it's gonna be with the 6S batteries instead of the 4S. Um, yeah, you know, it's gonna upset the weight, but um, it probably won't flip. Okay, so there she is. I forgot that the um, being a 300 amp speed controller doesn't have the BEC, so I've had to run uh, a separate battery pack in there. I've got a 2S battery pack there um, wired into this, which drops the voltage down to 5 volts to supply the receiver. Always a pain with these high voltage things that you've got to run that. So uh, I've got a switch here just to turn that part of it on. What I need to do first is calibrate the speed controller to the throttle. Hope it all works, of course. So we'll go 12S, so we'll go red onto black here. Make sure not run on the same battery. I have done that before. You'll find out pretty quick when you collect the connect the black and the red together on the same battery. Okay, bang, that one on there. This is a QS8, so it's got the anti-spark in it. Saves your terminals. So I need to go, actually I need to run it through a switch so I can, no, no I don't, I can do it another way. I can plug this up and nothing's gonna fire up just yet. Double checking, double checking. Red on red, yep. Okay. Nothing went bang. Alright, so fire that up. So you can do it by uh, the extra BC to calibrate your throttle on these, or on, on all of them actually, when you've got this. Power them up for two beeps. Let go. Okay, now have I span it, got it the right way? <coughs> Always wrong. 90% of the time when you take a guess which way the wires are gonna go, they're just about wrong. Pretty much 90%. Now we should be right. Okay. 
Get some grease flicking around the place. Okay, she's gonna work. There's no uh, like scientific way to work out what prop you're gonna use unless it's all trial and error. Like unless you've used it before, you're not gonna know. Um, so just start with something small. I've got a 4814 detongued on here now. And I'm going to take a couple others, but I probably won't even get to use them. Um, it's more about just making sure everything's okay to start with. I've got a 4819, 516. What's this one? 4814, not detongued. That's the one I had on there, the 5514. So I won't be using that. So I'll probably just use one of these if this is okay. And I forgot to mention the way I held that battery in was just with some foam underneath there. Worked a treat. It's like part of the boat now. Heavy. Yeah. Just winding up when I got to back off. Lake's just a little bit small. Yeah, I'll have to cut the video, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Do that now. Well, I should be able to tell you the temps and stuff here. Okay. All right, everything went cooler than expected, actually. It was only 28 degrees on pretty much everything. Um, so I was running a 4814 there, and I only bought a 51.6 was the biggest out of the four I brought. So that's not going to be big enough um, to load it up. So I've gone back to the 5514, which I was running on the 1060 on 8S. So on paper, this prop should be way too big, really, because I'm going 12S with not a lot less KV, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, that small 48mm prop was making it you know, cavitate down low, um, which can keep the temps down as well, but we'll just see what happens. You also can't really hold it flat out for very long here. No. Because the yeah, lake's not as full. I don't think this lake's ever going to be big enough for this on 12S. Probably <laughs> not, no. I think no chance. Well, it might be good for one pass. You just never use the boat again. Yeah. Uh, and we've had that happen here once had before. have had it. <laughs> right over there. I won't forget it. Wait, 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 just, just bring it in so I can, I forgot to connect to the thing because you were talking, doing the talk. So I'll just pause this here and do that and then it should just... Yeah. I heard it, yeah. Wow, that is... It's moving. It's just kind of... I have to get this into the bigger lake. Yeah. Okay. It's not very much run time, but when you're on and off, it's not very. Unless it's a load thing, it's a safety thing. Maybe. It's all pretty cold. Nice. Everything's cold. What about the motor? Well, yeah. It's hard to get to, I know. 
Yeah, motor's kind of up to temperature. Okay. Might be a little bit too much, actually. Let's see what that, see what that actually is. Yeah. More than I would like it, but it's not. Oh, yeah, this isn't warm at all. I don't know why the telemetry didn't work, but... Oh, yeah, that's... That's, that's the warmest thing in there, for sure, isn't it? Yeah. What's that say? 61. 60, 61, yeah. That's more than I would want it for sure. Everything else is stone cold though, 33, 40. Yeah, but yeah, so I won't run that big prop again yeah. on that. But yeah, it's going to be fast, that's for sure. Yeah, these warm the wires, I didn't no, think about that. Cold. Oh, they're cold as. Alright. 